Hey everyone, it's Chris from Funtech Guys, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create desktop notifications. I'm going to try and keep it as quick and simple as possible. Now, for those of you that don't know, desktop notifications are um, where you receive a no notification on the desktop, basically, and it's just a little box that will pop up here, and it just sits outside of the um, the web frame itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Notify User. I'm going to allow permission. Um, and then I'm just going to click notify user and you'll see we've got this box, we've got an icon, we've got a new message, uh, we've got a title, we've got a body and then we will create a link that you'll click through to. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into this and show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to pull up your um, your IDE, so I'm just using Atom here and let me just cancel this, so close and clear. So what I've done is I've got um, a, uh, a little terminal window here. You can get the terminal yourself, you know, just by um, using the command space bar and just typing in terminal. And what you want to do is you want to launch your own PHP um, localhost. So I'm just going to type PHP, different S, localhost 3200. Right, and this number can be anything. This could be 1234 if you wanted to, as long as it's not something that's been used already. So I, I always use 3200. And basically, what this is doing is it's just. Um, Within this folder, within this training folder, it's just created its own PHP server and we can just um, use it as if we were on a website. So if I click enter now, then I'll be able to load this web page. Um, let me just show you what it looks like if I click clear it. So I've cleared PHP, it's not running anymore because we have nothing. And if I go back here, reload this page, it doesn't work. All right, so that's all that is. Um, so I'm just going to load that again. So PHP. Um, server with the port of 3200 and you'll see that this is oh, this is a, a, the address that we just typed in here um, um, oh, it's gone. oh yeah there it is right okay so hang on we spent too long on that so I'm going to go ahead and just delete all of this save this come over here we've got a blank page and let's just create a simple HTML page and let's just call this notify the user. Right. And I'm going to create a, a link um, and I'm going to hashtag that. And on click, we're going to do something. So on click, we want to call a function. Now we've not created this function yet, so I won't, I won't type that in there just yet. So let's just put notify the, oh, that's not how you spell notify. Notify the user. Let's not be so angry. Right, so if we load the page, we should just have a link not to find the user. So let's create some script tags. So script and um, with web browsers, what um, if it's supported, they will use um, notification, and it literally just looks like notification. That right. So what we can do is we can we can see if we've got permission. So I'm just going to console log, and I'm going to do notification dot permission oh permission right so what we're doing is we're seeing if we've got permission from the notification right so let's save that reload granted oh, okay it's remembered from when I tested it a second ago so um what I'm gonna do is just click on this little um I next to the um the web address bar and I'm just gonna change the notifications to say use global and just ask me use permission right so I've refreshed that page and we don't it's default at the moment so the string that is returned from notification dot permission is just default so if I try to notify the user nothing's going to happen well obviously because we've not wrote any code but if I for example went and said right notifications block this website I don't want to receive notifications and I reloaded the page I'd get denied Right, but obviously we don't want denied, we want to ask the user for permission. Okay, so let's move on. What I'm going to do is first of all create a quick function which allows me to um, request, well, basically request permission. And I'm going to call this request permission. What I usually do is I, sh I um, shorthand um, my function name, so I'd usually do something like uh, rec perm because I want to request permission, but to, to make this easy for yourselves, um, I'm just going to put the full terms in there, so request permission, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if notification dot 
permission um, does not equal granted, then we want to request the permission. So notification dot uh, request the question. I keep on doing that request permission. And it's a function, and then we want to return. Right, so this isn't doing anything yet because we've not actually done anything, um, but we've just set up our function so we can um, so we can call it. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it when someone clicks on the button that you want to request permission, or you can do it when the page first loads. Now, I'm not a f really a fan of when the page first loads because if I go to a website that I've never been to before and it's saying do you want to allow um, notifications, then I'm, I'm going to say no, because I don't know what the website is, but it might be that I end up actually really liking the website, um, but I've already denied, you know, I've already said no to receive the notifications. So um, I'll show you both ways. I'm going to show you how to do it first on the load, so when, it first, when, it, when you first load the page up, and when you click on the button itself. So let's just um, create a listener, so document, um, add event listener and we want, once the DOM content is loaded, we want to run a function. Oh, that's not right. There. And what we want to do is we want to say, right, if notification, I know this is doubling up, permission does not equal then let's just request permission. I keep on doing that. I don't know what it is, but for some reason I just put request. I'm not sure why. Anyway, so what we're saying is once the document has, uh, has loaded completely and we've not already granted permission, then just run the permission function. So that's what's up here. Now I know we're doubling it up. But there's no harm in being extra, extra safe because if it's if it's already granted, there's no point in keep on loading this function. Um, so if we save that and come to our web browser, click re reload. Now we see it's asking for uh, for permission. Now we've got default because this is loaded straight away, right? But if I allow and I refresh, I should have granted now. So if I go over here. Use global default, refresh the page, I've got default, if I block it, refresh, I've got denied. Right? So then I can use global and I'm going to come back here. So that's great. So we've got it working so we can request and accept um, the user, uh, the user can accept or deny uh, permission. So then what we want to actually do is create the notification itself. So again, let's create another function and let's just call it notify user. Right, and now because we've got a name for this, we can put this up here. So, oh, notify user. Right, so if I just put console.log hello, now if I click on this, oh, I need to reload the page. I'm just going to close it in a second. I get hello. So now we know that this button is working and it's calling this down here. Right, so I'll get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if notification, but I'm going to prepend uh, a exclamation mark because I want to check if notification is actually supported in this browser. And if it's not, then I'm going to say this is this is just a fallback. So um, you can do whatever you can, you know, alert the user, or I'm just going to console.log. Oh, console.log, and I'm going to say, oops, this browser does support notifications, and then I'm just going to return that. Right. So if notifications are not supported, so if, not, if the, the uh, the method, the function, or whatever is a uh, notification has not been uh, found, then just console log notifications are not supported. So you might find this with with all the browsers, and I'm, I think it's um, Internet Explorer is the, is the main culprit for not receiving desktop notifications. But if we come over to notifications on Zilla, scroll down, 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 browser compatibility, we've got um, 
most browsers will support it. Internet Explorer, as you can see, no support, no support, no support. But I'll let you have a look at this page yourself. All you need to do is just Google um, Notifications Web a API, and it'll uh, it'll bring this this page up. I always land, uh, end up landing on this page. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. So we've we've created a fallback in case notifications are not supported. Then we also need to create a, um, a check to see if um, we're, we're trying to notify the user here, but we don't know if the if it's been granted or, or denied. So let's just do a check and let's say if notification dot permission. So kind of the exact same as what we've done up here is equal to granted. Then we can go ahead and we can um, set our our, our, our what's called our notification else we want to say well basically you need to confirm it but we'll do that in a second so let's go um far notif uh let, let's just do no, no, actually i'll do it leave it notif i don't want to run into any duplicate name problems so notif equals new notification right and this Except a title, so let's just say, um, I don't know, title goes here, right? And then it also accepts an object. The title, if I just save that, pretty certain that it should work. So we load this page, allow, and then let's just notify the user. Yeah, title goes here. So you can literally leave it as that. Now we've created our first notification, as, as you can see, you know, I've left the browser here, I've gone into uh, Atom again and it's still up here. Um, I'm going to close that. But if you want to add additional information, so you might have an image or you might have somewhere that it clicks through to or uh, a body, or, you know, a particular message, then it also takes a object. And that object will contain a list of um, well parameters that you want to pass through to, you know. Um, so again, I'm going to come back over to notifications, the, the, the page. And we have a long, long list. So um scroll down we've got a direction so which way the actual uh, notification comes does it come from left to right right to left language of the notification the tag so you can actually um if you if you send them users like messages you can do like message id equals and then put a tag id in there um icon you know if, if there's an icon there's there's loads I, i'll let you go through this but what we're going to use is um body Let's do icon first. Icon and body. So if I do um, this is our sexy message and icon. I'm just I've googled um, just a PNG earlier. I'm not going to use this, so I don't mind just hot loading someone else's. What you know, I'm a local host, and I'm just going to paste that in there. So now we've got. A new notification, title, um, an icon, and our body. So I'm just going to save that, and then I'm just going to come back over here. I'm going to refresh the page. We've we've already granted permission. I'm going to click notify the user, and we've got an icon, a title, and our message. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now, when we click this, though, nothing happens. So you may have. Um, I don't know, it, it may be a message and you want the user to go straight to their inbox. So we can create another quick bit here and we do notify, notif, sorry, notif, which sure matches there. We go notif dot on click equals a new function. And then what do you want to do? Once the user has clicked, what do you want to do? Well, we want to do window dot open. And we want to send the user somewhere. So let's just do, um, let's just send the users here. Paste this in. So just to um, this channel. So I'm just, just going to do title goes here, an icon, our body, and then once the user clicks on, you know, once the notification has been clicked on, then we will go to this location. So I'm going to come over here. Reload my page. Actually, I'll go through the whole steps and notifications. Let's use global. Refresh. So now it's picked up. Um, do you want to allow notifications? Yes, we do. 
let's notify the user. Great, we've got a message. When we click it, we're off and we're here. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Now I said um, you can do it a couple of ways where you can have it um, not on load. So you could do it down here. So you can say right, um, comment that out because we don't want um, as soon as the page is loaded. So if I save this and come back over here, refresh this page. Right, it's default. It's not as soon as the page is loaded. Um, so like we, you know, I'm, I'm reloading this page. We're not getting that pop up every single time now. Um, but we can do this, so notify the user, so the user has clicked on this, notify the user, if permission is granted, then do this, else, well we created our function up here, so um, let's just run that, else run our function, so default right now, it's obviously not granted, so it's just run the function, allow, click again, and there you go. We've now got um, notifications allowed and our message has come through. And that's, it's as simple as that. So I hope you had fun watch, um, watching this video. I can't speak now, I've kind of rambled a bit quick. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions, please feel free to pop them down below and I'll hopefully get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching. See ya.